Want to sit up front, Mara? Uh, sure. Oh, it's instantly dark. <laughs> Jason's car smells strongly of ashes, chemicals, and stale food. All right. Ready for some crazy driving? Woohoo! Crazy? Not bad driving, you know. Just crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh, this animation rules. Yes! Dude, yes! All the detail put in all the <laughs> everyone getting shoved around. Let's see? Crazy. I get it! I see! Oh, awesome. <laughs> this game's so good. Couch! Even more cute animation. <laughs> and even more resolution changes in the sprites. Carla! Hey! Uh, and immediately... <laughs> immediately the group we felt safe enough with to come to the house with, um... It's broken off. Wow, it's actually the house. To your surprise, it's actually quite tame in here. You've had years to imagine the forbidden excess and depravity. Depravity, depravity that must take place behind these walls. Corridors of smoke and noise freely distributed to alcohol and drugs. Gyrating bodies under colored light. It's a coffee shop. How about that? Eh, maybe that was more of a, how about that? <laughs> oh, well, there's a lot of people here. We'll start by talking to uh, the familiar. Mara, come sit. That's a primo spot. I like sitting here because I can see everyone, but I can also hide my face if I don't want to be seen. Yes, I understand. We're definitely finding like our actual social footing. Uh, probably maybe hand on the couch. There we go. <laughs> Mara, what's the deal with you? Huh? Nothing's wrong. <laughs> no, I mean, what are you all about? What's your story? Oh, well, there's not much to tell, really. I mean, I'm just normal. Just some girl hanging out with you guys. I see, I see, shrouded in mystery. You're both heartened and disarmed by the thought that the boys know nothing about you. This is the clean slate you're always wishing for. A chance to make a cool impression. Every word and movement must be chosen with the utmost clarity and deliberation. That's a recipe for disaster, Mara. <laughs> Why are they playing the radio edit of Sonique's It Feels So Good? The extended mix is like a hundred times better. <laughs> I'ma go smoking. Heh, <laughs> the mask. 1994. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you moved too slow to ask Jason if you could bum a cigarette. You're hoping to set a precedent with this group. As far as I know, you don't even like to smoke. Crowd sucks tonight. Oh, yeah, for sure. Sucky crowd. I've never seen you here before. Me and Jason are here like every other night. Me too. Maybe we both go every other night, but like on the opposite nights. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> so, I have a question. Yeah? Are you like a virgin or something? <laughs> the music filter. Oh, okay. That was part of the music, I think. If if that if that was part of the music, that was absurd timing, just out of this world timing. Um, unfortunately, I think the honest answer is for Mara to answer dishonestly. What? No. Oh, okay. 
You mean like sex, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nope. Forget it. Like, nope. You've never done it or? No, no. Like, no. I haven't never done it. Huh? I have. You have never done it. No. You never have. I never said I haven't. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Can we forget I asked? Yes. <laughs> How long in you have you and Jason been friends? Oh, forever. Me and him are like brothers. I guess that explains it. You guys look completely different. I've never seen a punk hanging out with a... A what? Guy who... Dresses like Mace? Is that how you pronounce that? I'm guessing it's probably like a music artist sort of like who I've never heard of. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, that's alright. I asked if you're a virgin after all. You can diss my style this one time. Okay. But never again. Okay. Uh, her smile. <laughs> it's cool you came along, Mara. You're funny. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> okay, well, let's start getting uh, confident. Let's just chat random people up and then probably come back to Amanda. Let's look at people first, too, though. Uh, let's also look at Robert. Robert is looking around uneasily from his corner of the couch, perhaps looking for someone he'd rather not see. <laughs> oh. The kids on the back couch are totally unfamiliar to you, but you distinctly saw them acknowledge Jason when he entered. You don't recognize these boys. They're probably from a neighboring school district. Yeah, it is just part of the music. That was great. I'm glad that happened. You've seen this kid around school, but you're not sure if he actually goes there. It's more likely he's just a friend of Carla's. You recognize Carla from around school, though you can't say for sure what grade she's in. You've never seen her inside a classroom. Amanda is happily conversing with a pair of girls you've never spoken to before. Interesting. That dialogue says pair of girls, and we're using different gendered pronouns for these two. We'll see what's up with that, I suppose. Now the other thing is, uh, the back door leads to the alleyway behind the building. It's tempting to not talk to anyone yet and just go out and see Jason bum a smoke off him, probably what's going to happen. But let's let's talk to people. I think going and seeing Jason is what I want to, ha to uh, see happen, but we could do other things first. You wouldn't know what to say to the couch kids. You decide not to approach them without someone from your group. It would be an act of suicide to approach a pair of boys you don't know, and you feel like staying alive tonight. You could easily see this kid making trouble for you at school if you embarrass yourself in any way. Better to avoid contact, you reason. Uh, Carla, right? Carla offers just the slightest of nods in your direction before returning to her conversation. You immediately feel stupid for bothering her and grateful that she made such a small deal of it. Hey Mara, what's up? Just saying hi. I was just about to order something at the counter. You want anything? You were actually hoping Amanda would introduce you to her other friends, but... Beggars can't be choosers. She hasn't changed her mind about wanting to hang out with you, at least. Sure. What do they have? The cappuccino is my favorite. It's so good. It's six dollars. Cappuccino Bambino. <laughs> Cappuccino Bambino. Okay, I can't do it twice. <laughs> Cute. Six dollars. Shit, I don't have enough. Never mind. Oh, okay. G cool, great exchange, everyone. Let's leave. <laughs> oh, couple other dyed hair punks back here. Let's take a look. The girl smoking by a stack of milk crates seems lost in her own thoughts. Her eyes, body, lips, and hair do not recognize you as a living organism. 
A punk with menacing eyes is relaxing in an abandoned car seat. He does not seem to notice your presence. Jason is enjoying a break in the alleyway with some other dedicated smokers. He seems to perk up when he sees you followed him outside. You wouldn't dare speak to this girl unless spoken to. Everything about her is simply terrifying. Uh, are you friends with Jason? The punk barely glances your way, deciding it's best for both of you if your question is not acknowledged. You appreciate the kindness of this act. Okay, well. Hey, kid. You got a whole party going out here. <laughs> These losers. They're boring as shit, I can assure you. Can I bum a cigarette? Aw, you don't smoke, do you? What's wrong with that? You just seem like such a sweet girl. You don't want to get addicted to this shit. I guess not. It's a disgusting habit, and I'm disgusting for doing it. You're not disgusting. <laughs> just you wait. I like you, Mara. You're easy to talk to. Really? I'm so shy, I just assume I came, come off as a weirdo. You feel shy around me? I don't know. I guess I'm pretty comfortable around you guys. What about just me? I'm cool with you. Good. You know, if we were alone, I'd... Should we see what Robert and Amanda are up to? Oh, for sure. They could be dead in a ditch by now. Let's go. Great. All sorts of very cool things we're getting involved with all the time. Did Jason try to make a move on you just now? You can't be sure, but it seems like he did. Oh, I feel like I, as the adult in the room, can be pretty sure. Well, what's there to do but sit back down, I guess? <laughs> the boys, who were chatting before you sat down, quickly go silent. Uh, just kidding. Jason is blissed out on the couch, calmly acknowledging the crowd at the house. He looks very much at home. Uh, how's it going? Good. Hmm. Is Jason being a little less friendly now? Maybe it's because he's talking to Robert. Or maybe he said something stupid back there. Either way, the tickle of a bad feeling comes over you. Let's hope that tickle grows. Right, we had this dialogue earlier. Oh my god, um... Talk with Amanda again? Okay. I actually wanted to ask you something. Yeah? You know Lily Peters? Yeah? Did you and her ever have, like... Have what? A lesbian love affair? What? No. Sorry. <laughs> I know it's none of my business. We didn't. You don't have to tell me. I'm telling you, we didn't. Oh. Okay. Why would you think that? From seeing us together? No, I just heard it. From who? I don't remember. Someone at school. Your face fills with hot blood. How long has this rumor been going around? And more importantly, does Lily know about it? Did this rumor coincide with Lily slowly distancing herself from you? Did Lily want to go away from the summer? Is this why she went? To get away from you? Was your argument just a convenient way for her to end things? Don't worry, Mara. I don't care either way. But it's a lie. If people are lying... I care if people are lying about me. You should take it as a compliment, girl. A fox like Lily? I bet you anything some scrubby guy who wishes he could date one of you started the rumor. Some scrubby guy. Good lord. Could it be? Fucking Justin? What? Justin fucking McLaren. He came on to me, did you know that? No? Yup. He tried to hook up with me behind the mall. 
He wanted me to like sit in his lap by the dumpsters. Ew. <laughs> Obviously, I told him to fuck off. Oh boy. Of course. And then he has the nerve to tell him to tell me not to tell anyone when he's spreading rumors about me. What a fucking loser. <laughs> I bet he has a bent little dick. I bet he's never even kissed another human being. Yeah, probably not. Well, anyway, if I ever catch him badmouthing you, I'll kick him in his tiny balls. Amanda walks over to some other kids, leaving you to ponder an endless timeline of screw ups, missed opportunities, and your general status as a full blown loser. You know, um, really seems like the best course of action for Mara in the near future would be to move. But she was, she's not going to do that in the kind of money she's making right now. And she's still in school. So. No new dialogue there. And no new dialogue there. And we're certainly... Okay. Amanda counts as a member of our group. Sup? Wow. Nothing. You really thought you had an airtight opener there. You know, it just occurred to me this far into recording that I hope my mic is not too hot. No, it looks like we're fine. Do I do I try to stealthily edit that out or do I leave that in? I'm probably leaving that in. <laughs> oh boy, well... Nothing else here? Nothing else here. Talk to Amanda again? Hmm. Things are winding down, huh? Hmm, I guess so. Do you feel like doing something else? <coughs> You hadn't even considered that the trip might go on past this, or the night, the night might go on past this trip. Your mind wanders back to the ferry schedule, and Mom realizing you're still gone. I should probably get home. I'm tired from work anyway. I don't see anything else to do here, so. Great. I'll rally the boys. They can drop you off at the station. What about you? Oh no! Nope. Oh, it won't let me. Okay. That's fine. I can do all this again. That's what I get for uh, taking such a long break between recording sessions. The, uh... I just lost my, my save ethic. Okay. Let's go home. <laughs> what about you? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Your trip back to the mainland is a blur. Jason drives quickly but soberly, and you open a car door to the ferry. Before you say goodbye, a desperation to repeat this night overtakes you. You write your AOL screen name on a scrap of paper and give it to Robert. There's some talk about meeting up with Amanda on the island. Then Jason speeds off, and you're on the boat by yourself. You can't help but think that something new has begun. <laughs> Interesting. Let's take this all home, then. Seems pretty late. Probably a good time to just head right to bed. <laughs> yeah, I doubt we're going to be seeing anything particularly new here. Take a look at the computer.
I mean, what else are we going to do? You don't have any particular destination. You feel like you're just checking your computer out of nervousness. You start to wonder if this is making you feel bad to just go online with no reason at all. You were feeling so good a minute ago, and now there's a tickle of dread at the back of your neck. <laughs> XHot97X says, Mara. Uh, this is Jason with the blue hair. I'm on Robert's computer. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. I saw your post. Let's click away from that. Not something we are ready to confront. Ooh, things are animating a little slowly, too. What are you guys up to? Just fucking around. Listen. <laughs> I'm really confused about what I did to make you so mad. Can I tell you something? We were all just joking around, but obviously it did upset you. Oh yeah, it's animating real slowly for some reason. Yeah. And you're very important to me, so... I'm sorry. You're so cute. I like that face of yours a lot. And I'd kiss you if I could. This is getting real bad. Does anyone else notice that this is getting like real bad? At least like, um, I can't remember at this point if it was overtly stated, but it seems like Jason is uh, at least an adult. So kind of a kind of a real gross situation here. And Staggle says, are you still there? And we really close out of that. Oh boy. Here it goes. Here it goes. Wow. Thanks. Your heart is pounding. So you didn't just imagine it. But can you really kiss Jason? The thought scares you. He's so rough, lean, Sharp around the edges. There is nothing tender about him. Maybe they are closer in age and I'm just getting worried about nothing. I don't know. Definitely, like, at minimum, lots in this game of uh, people making uncomfortable advances on Mara, regardless of um, regardless of age. Besides, if his, if his pursuit is so aggressive, how rough is his actual touch? Would it hurt? No. It's just too real. In your mind, your first kiss is lighter than air, warm and ethereal. It can do you no harm. That's going to let you down hard. <laughs> I really like to be friends. I don't know if I want more than that. That's okay. Just wanted to tell you. So why you t uh, why you type that way? Type. Which way? Like you're writing a book, lol. You know exactly what Jason is asking. He didn't always bother to punctuate, capitalize, and spell check your online communications. In the early days, the late 90s, anything would go. As more people started to use the internet, you were suddenly privy to the everyday person's lack of writing comprehension, vocabulary to emote, or curiosity about language. You started to distinguish yourself from them, from the normal and the cruel, the idiots. Sorry. It doesn't bother me. Are 
we being given the option to like interact with Staggle at all? It seems like no. It's simply there. We'll close and log off, I guess. What a night that was. You're still processing it. Now that Jason's told you how he feels, is it a bad idea to keep hanging out with him? Would you be leading him on? On the other hand, no one's ever complimented you so directly. It's an odd and pleasant discomfort to be looked at and admired. Your birthday's coming up. You're almost 16 and still bewildered by dating and relationships. Luckily, it's your day off. No work or school obligations, just time to think it all through. A whole, st a whole day stretches before you. Well, I have uh, a whole evening stretching before me, uh, actually collapsing, rather, in front of me to get this done and uploaded, so it's definitely where I'm going to cap it for now. Real interesting start to fall. I'm sure that will only keep up. Let's save. What inspiring quitting quote do you have for us this time? That's the same one as last time. Hold on. Come on. I know it's a different one every time. That's the first one that we got. How many does this game have for us? <laughs>